<laughs> we could drill, babe. We could drill. Oh my god. Hey guys, Zuljan here, and welcome back to another episode of Scrap Mechanic. I hope y'all are doing so well today. Look at this nonsense. I missed one. It got through and it ate all my base. I actually don't know what happened to it. And you say, well, Z, why weren't you paying attention? Listen, I was. I was out here on the shore bussing robot heads. I got a problem, y'all. I got a serious problem, something that I overlooked. I thought this island base would be more defensible, and it's actually less defensible. Why? Well, I need more material. So if I were to make this island base square, and I were to want to smash everything that would get close to the end, what would I need to do? Well, I would need something to go below the robots and above and i would need to be able to smash them saw blades don't really work on bots they just kind of avoid them and it kind of makes it much harder to maneuver with the water so this is what i'm thinking i need to get a farm plot set up to where i can smash robots around so let's say if i had like a what i the setup that i have in there like right a five by five or six by six or something and then i have a metal wall around it and then I have a smashing trap that covers that metal wall or it pretty much is one wider all around in the metal wall and it would just come down and destroy robots as they try to get through the wall to the crops. I think that's going to be the best thing. The bad thing is I don't have any materials left. I'm I'm white. I don't have I don't have anything. We've been neglecting putting together a drill press machine. It's time to put it together. And notice I said drill press cuz that's what I'm going to try to do. I'm imagining something that kind of allows me to open up some pincers and squeeze <laughs> to keep myself in place and then something that presses down with drills. And I think that's what I want to do. Instead of driving forward in, I think I want to come from the top down. I did change uh, the, the sensor like you guys suggested on the the elevator as well i guess old habits die hard that's why i'm still using uh the seat here but anyway i've gotten together some of the materials i've been working towards and i think i'm gonna try to put something together let's take these four drill bits and i had set up a couple more chests i got some wheels now and what i think i want to do is just build kind of like a chassis we're gonna need a we well I, I decided that i wasn't going to worry about bearings and stuff because i was going to take this uh apart so let's see here we can do that we're gonna have a few we're gonna have a few tires that we don't need but that's okay All right now there we go and we'll just take this apart some other time it's fine <laughs> all right so Oh, by the way, I had one carrot left to harvest before. Uh, oh, I thought there was unauthorized farming, but... Huh, that's weird. So there was unauthorized farming before I started, but there was no crops because I had picked them all. And then I exited the game <laughs> before I started recording and came back in. Huh. That's a weird that's weird. I wonder if that's a bug or that's intended. At any rate, let's let's put together some stuff. So, so I haven't really played with this design in creative. It's just something that I'm kind of coming up with, but what I want to do is use this extruded metal to kind of give myself an open design. And I want to start with like a baseline like that. We can go out a little bit further. And what I want to do now is take like some bearings and uh, what I'll do is, like, this will be the car, right? This will be the entire setup of the car. Let's go out as far as we can with it. And we can put those bearings a little bit wider. But what we want to do is have the ability to drive this thing forward, okay? So if we put bearings right here, uh, that's not what I wanted to do. If we put bearings right here and right here... We can put wheels on this sucker. Like that. And like that. And we can essentially pull this thing forward. And we can open it up too. As much as we want. Just to get it closer. And we can have a drill press coming from on top. So I just need two more bearings here. And I think two small tires. And I'm really not going to worry about steering too much. Uh, but I will be able to put some some steering on the back just to make it 
um, move a little bit, you know? You see, I thought the unauthorized farming was over and it didn't have an alert, but I was right. They came anyway. And look at them. You see how they're tearing stuff up? <laughs> and I gotta go swimming to kill them? There's really no way to end up trapping them. I'm glad they didn't go for my drawbridge, though. I'm really glad because, man, this sucker, <laughs> it took forever to put together. I don't, <laughs> I don't want them to break it. I really like my little island base. God dang it. <laughs> I was just getting some stuff together for a seat. When it turns daytime again, we'll, we'll continue working on the build. All right, it's daytime now. I have my little chassis set up, and I got a little steering mechanism on the back now because it'll be able to move left and right a little bit. And uh, these should be all right, too. Let's go ahead and disconnect this because that's not where I want it. Uh, what I need right now is I need a piston set up. And uh, let's go on top. And we're going to connect this to here and change it to the highest setting. Let's see. Why didn't it go up? What is what is wrong? Oh, it's on the jack. I see what's going on. Okay. So let's see how high that goes. That's pretty darn high. It's probably not quite. Well, yeah, it actually is probably high enough. Come to think of it. Yeah, I think it is. Okay, so with this, we're probably going to need a little drill array now. And we'll see if we can actually stack all of this on this piston to where it won't uh, it, it it won't fall off. Now, granted, we're gonna we're gonna change the size of this array quite a bit, but I'm just kind of getting started here. Oh, I see. Well, uh, apparently, we're gonna need a little bit more metal, but that's okay. Let's just make it hollow for now, then. And. All right, cool. Yeah, it's a little bit long, but that's okay. Let's let's go into first person now. I know some of you don't like me to play first person and stuff, but I, I mean third person. But I gotta say, I'm a third person kind of guy. So if it if it messes with you, I apologize. But so these things, uh, technically the drills are one by one. So honestly, this probably needs to do that. Yeah, that, that looks like it would be a little bit more stable. Okay, so I don't know how the drill setups are going to work right here, but I have a few drills on me and a few bearings, and I think what I'd like to do is naturally we're going to need one in the middle, so we'll put a bearing like, oh, it's... Dang, man, this thing is all kind of unsquare, isn't it? Now it's better. I Honestly, I think I would like this to come like that yeah that's a little bit that's a little bit nicer right there okay so let's just put a drill right here a drill right here and a drill right here now honestly i ultimately i'd like the drills in probably four different places and they can extend out they'll need to do that on a bearing a little bit but you know i just thought about something if we were to put like a little array here and just bear with me. Like that. And we can put the bearings on these spots. Do I have any more? I'm going to need a few bearings. But now we can put the drills like this. And they'll like rotate. I can put that on the controller too. Now that's that's a pretty good idea. So far this is... We need to hook these to the controller so they don't move that much. Uh, yep. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, tiger. One more. Yeah. All right. Hey, that's actually probably easier to work on than the setup that I have right now. <laughs> Let's just put it back down here. See, when it's all compressed, it looks looks kind of neat. All right. It is, it is a little bit uh, front heavy, I should say. We might be able to support it with some extra pistons, but... Right now, let's let's set up the drill array first. All right, I got another piston crafting because I know we're gonna need it. Uh, but we do have the setup for a little bit more drilling, so let's extend this out by one or two more. There we go, and 
let's put the last two drill heads on this. All right. So now what we have is four rotating drill heads that can come down and we can control it to kind of smash. And I, I thought about it a little bit and our second piston, we would need it to be, uh, it can't be up front, right? So we might need two pistons on the left and the right. As long as it supports it, I don't think it's a bad thing. It might be kind of janky or whatever, but we can add some more structural integrity to it, I believe, and that might make it different. Anyway, let's see what we could do here. So what we're gonna need, let's put the jack on it again so it's all nice and compressed. And we're gonna put the seat on it. You guessed it, right here. <laughs> right here. Uh, oh, the piston's extended, but uh, that's just weird. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's so strange man all right so we can get on top of it and it'll be like driving over it and then we can smash down i hope it's tall enough if not we can make that adjustment but let's see here so we'll do uh, i guess if it would be lowered to the ground automatically at the start position it would be easier and then extend up to that right so let's make it one and let's make it up to 15. That way we can just extend it when we uh, when we add well when we when we put a button on it I guess you could say all right or a switch that's what I brought anyway so here's the switch let's go ahead and put the switch on the back of it that way I can uh, fix it whenever I want to and we'll connect that to the switch and the switch will go to. I'm guessing, huh, are we gonna need a second controller here? Yeah, I think we will because right now we have the controller set to these, but honestly, these could be set to steering instead. So let's disconnect these. Let's connect the steering to that instead. Uh, no, these just need to be stiff. Oh no, this does need to be a controller. Huh, this is gonna be interesting. We need we do need to connect the steering here though. So right now we'll just connect the steering to that. Or is it gonna push or pull? Too many different factors, man. Okay, let's let's first of all, the steering is going to connect to that so that we can turn left and right. Okay? This is gonna be set up to the controller at specific angled points. I think we're gonna need another controller to do this like I'd like to because I want them to be able to angle at a certain point and it's gonna be hard to do that unless, cause it would disengage it though, right? If I would connect them with the controller. Yeah, I think I'm gonna need multiple controllers here because if I were to connect this and this, and engage anything on the second and the third, it would change its position. Unless I just kept it locked to one position the whole time. I, I didn't want to do, I wouldn't want to do that though. Starting position is supposed to be here. And then um, the wide position is going to be, let's see, we want it to go pink and blue. What, like 15 degrees? Let's try that. Pink. And blue. 15 degrees. And they open up a little bit. Okay. We can... Maybe we can make it go a little bit more to 30 and 30. Yeah, and it gets wide like that. So it'll still roll forward. It's going to be kind of weird, but... I'm, I'm, I'm imagining this, okay? I'm just trying to put it together and see what happens. Uh, all right, so we have the, the basis for the build done. If we were to take a seat now and put the engine on it, we have the engine. I don't have any gas on me, but let's go ahead and lower this down. Switch is not connected to anything. It needs to be connected to that. So if we hit the switch now, it goes down and the 
Yeah, I think I think that works because it's only in starting position. Okay, so what we would do right here is change it to one and one. And if we hit the switch, no, I know it needs to go negative and negative. Okay, so yeah, um. Like that, and like that. So when we hit the switch, the wheels kind of retract. It does, it does, it does kind of roll it backward or whatever, but that's fine. Okay, so when we go down like that, it widens up and smashes. We probably need that to be on the opposite, to tell you the truth. So zero, zero, 30, and 30. Just like that. Now, if we hit it, <laughs> it kind of squeezes. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's change it to that. And okay. So we're rolling. All right. And we hit the switch. And it goes up. Yeah. So we're driving. We're, we, we get to the, we get to the location. Dang it. No, this is not going to work like that. I'm going to need two separate controllers. God dog it. All right, the configuration is set now. I have a second controller on here and it's connected so that if I hit one switch, it goes up and down. And if I hit the other switch, it opens the pincers. All right, good deal. Now we're set up. Now what we need to do is hook engines to it and get everything moving. So I have a good engine here, an upgraded engine and a scrap engine. I think the, the scrap engine I'm going to connect to the wheels. Um, in order to make it move only because the good engine that I have has more bearing slots and it's upgradable, you know, so what we'll do is I guess I don't really have any great place to put this thing. Let's just mount it right here on the back. It'll be a little bit off center. You know what? The whole dang thing's off center because of the two and one deal. That's that's good. Now. Now it's set like that. I like that better. In fact, Let's just put another extruded metal just to support it a little bit more and it'll be good. We'll just do two more actually. All right, perfect. Now we need the small engine. That's the good engine. Let's put the small engine right there and the small engine will connect to, I guess we'll push it with the back wheels. That way it'll be easy to connect and we do that. Okay, that should be good. I probably have to reverse this too now that I'm thinking about it. You always have to reverse it. Okay. The large engine, this one, has to be hooked to all of these drills because it has the more connections. I think that's connected all. Yeah, they're all going the same way. I don't think that matters too much, but that's all right too. And now we need to connect both engines to the steering wheel. So boom and boom. All right. <laughs> I think I think we got that set up. The only thing is for the drill, I'm not going to want my tires to move forward. I think I'm going to have to manually power this engine. I can't hook a button to the engine either, can I? Hmm, or can I? Let's take the Did I just turn it on? It doesn't have gas in it. Um <laughs> I need to make sure that Why would it just turn on like that? Is that just a sound glitch or something? Maybe it turns on no matter what. I don't know. Yeah, because it's not turning anything. Uh, it's Is it on the, the rack? No, it's not. It's not even on the lift. How weird. <laughs> I'm really not sure what to make of that, but anyway. So if we connect the gas engine to a button and we connect the button to the steering wheel, then we can control that with the three key, right? Yeah, all right, that works good. So now we're going to need some gas and uh, I mean, we could make a fuel tank, but right now just to experiment, I think this will work okay. 
Um, let's let's put some gas in it and see how it runs. All right, I think she's all set up, you guys. Uh, I do need to eat a little bit of food. We got a veggie burger or a pizza burger, one of those delicious foods that you could get that fills you up all the way. And I think I think we're pretty much ready to go. I did change the minimum adjustment for the piston to be a little bit higher up because the blades look like they were dragging on the ground. But we can pincer now, we can lift, and more importantly, ho, 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 we can drill, babe, we can drill. Oh my god. All right, so I, I went ahead and did something to, oh, I didn't think that was going to be a thing. I was supposed to connect this to where they would all spin. Okay, <laughs> maybe. Maybe I didn't do the propellers right or whatever, but we'll we'll get it done. So <laughs> it definitely is very very heavy. It needs it. I think it's gonna need some more power here. Oh my god, we might need to use another engine because it feels like it is incredibly heavy. Ouch! No, wait. Let's get it on the uh, before I kill myself. Let's get it on the jack. We're gonna need. A heavier duty engine for this thing I do believe because I, I, I don't even even know if we could get it to where we want to go yet let you know what uh, but for trial and error purposes let's just get it to the dadgum uh let's let's get it to a, a rock and see if it even functions so from the look of it I'm gonna need it a little bit higher because almost all of the rocks around are a little bit taller than the piston will extend up but this will be a good test so let's let's raise it up I hear a bot around here don't you come oh snap hold up dang it you done messed up everything bot let's get this one too I guess I need the circuit boards I've been using a ton of them lately okay so let's let's open let's let's re let's bring our stuff back down so I could reach it there we go up oh, let's raise it back up all right let's open the pincers beautiful and now <laughs> oh it's working hold on up again wow okay let's let's close the pincers now open the pincers again hurry hurry before it falls over uh i'm a little off balance here i'm a little off about you know what we we go just do it anyway <laughs> we definitely need some more stability on this thing okay can i back off that's that's the question can i just back up no i'm 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 bottomed out here i'm bottomed out all right hold up hold up hold up hold up <laughs> i can see now this thing is gonna need to be a lot more stable all right let's try to get the rest of it now i hope this works out okay i can go forward with the the arms open we might need to adjust the bearings <laughs> to add some steering to the front too but this is this is in theory how I wanted it to work. All right. Ka! All right. Hold on. Back up a little bit. Back down again. Oh yeah, baby. Well, <laughs> it doesn't exactly work like I wanted it to for sure, but look. It does it does the job okay, I guess. We should be able to go a little bit lower than this too. <laughs> it breaks it down. It's the start of something magnificent. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna be a thing or not. I thought it would be legendary to have like a drill press something that smashed down on them. But I think forward might be the way to go, man. Oh, well, it's a failed design for now, but. <laughs> At least I had fun today, and I hope you guys did too. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, give me some dap on that like button to show you support. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Odin signing off, and we'll see you next time. Break it down.